uh, please go over here. Basically, the fan yard a bit of abstand. So, please, Rico. Here, drüben, yes. Stell dich dort hin. So, basically, uh, the fan yard is uh, a basic exercise, okay? Uh, most students already know that almost every class we do the Fan Yao. Uh, fan Yao is an integral part of Wudang martial arts, so this step is very important, okay? Uh, today I want to point out the focus points of this Fan Yao practice. Uh, what you should focus on when you start learning this movement. We should always adapt the Tai Chi principle, so this means no feet turn together at the same time. The movement start and finish at the same time. And you're using the movement from the hip rotation. So basically, uh, everything in the internal martial arts is integrated in the, in the sequence of Fan Yao. It means you need to have strong posture. You need to use the movement from the inside. Yeah? And then you need to use a certain uh, rhythm of relaxation and breathing to be comfortable with this exercise. So, first, only watch my feet, okay? When we're stepping, you step here, yes? We start off equally, so 50-50%, yes? We turn, we turn over, yeah? Here, we turn over, then we step, yes? We step. Wait, now I'm confused. When we're here, yes, one, here like this, 50-50%, yes. Backward, slowly, here, yes. Now we are in this kind of posture, yes. This leg, turn over, yeah. And here, the hip connecting, yes, with the root. And then the left heel together with the hip movement and we come out over here. So, basically, watch it one more time from the hip movement, okay? When we start over here, like here, one. Understand? So basically, the hip is moving, one full circle, and you finish the fan yaw. All other parts are relaxed. So, first, when you start with this movement, you practice the posture, which is like this. Yes. Then you turn on the hip, and you turn on the front. Okay? So basically, we will do this step only, and then we come to the hand movement, okay? So the practice should look like this. We start here. One, we hip acceleration, or we come forward, yes? Now don't stop the hip movement. Go in and rotate the hip and heels to rotate forward. Understand? Watch me slowly one more time. And watch the continuous hip movement. Okay? The position is very stable. You should not fall, okay? The point of this movement is to stay rooted with the earth. Please keep in mind, don't turn both feet at the same time. If you do that, we fall. Watch. This is not a stable. You can try out if you're turning both feet. You will not feel control with the ground, okay? So keep in mind that you only turn one feet, okay? Good. We try only this movement with the feet, okay? Here you So. So. You go. I do slowly with you, okay? One. Turn. Step. Right. Turn. Left. Turn. And relax. One, left, right, turn, left, turn, X, yeah, again, 
left, right, left. You try on your own. Try use your rhythm. Don't stop the hip movement. All right, please come here. Okay, one more time, okay, 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 so. so, only turn one feet at a time, immer nur ein Fuß nach dem anderen, yes. All right, now we want to go a bit higher. Now we try to feel the, the spine axis, okay? Which we slightly shift backward and stay on the place, you know? Watch carefully here. You step, one, two. You see the upper body already slightly forward. Yeah? Now step backward. Now stay this line, turn. Same movement with the feet. Turn left and relax. Understand? So basically we keep the spine in place. The movement comes from acceleration. So when you look at it from the front, it looks like this. Understand? So when you're coming forward, you're accelerating. You come forward here, the upper body tilted slightly forward. Then you keep the line, keep line, and you come forward, okay? We try. Bye. So. Yes, so stable. Very good. Bye. So. Nicht unbedingt gerade stehen. But don't stay straight. You have to go slightly lower, low position, tilt slightly, and angle. Most here still too straight, you know. It's still too straight. When you do the fun, you're lazy, then maybe you stay straight. Huh? You have your time, you try slowly. So the fun yaw should be accurate and you can stop the fun yaw at any second. Huh? So you should try slow. You come forward, come here. And then you're here, okay? We try one more time. Try slower. Übel. So. Keep the angle all times. And keep the fan yaw in control in any second. So. Do not stay upright. 
This is how we control the gravity center. We turn in both directions, left and right. Okay. Rico, nicht stehen bleiben. Bissel mehr Körperspannung. So. Yes, okay. Good. So now we try both sides, okay? We do both sides, watch carefully. First, we step right. Step, tilt, step. Yeah. Again, 50-50, other side. One, yes, and you go. One, you go here, left, Okay, so you try two sides. You turn both sides, okay? We try, we play. So, slowly. Play, so. Yes. Good up. Okay. Line up. Wait, so. Okay, line up. So uh, one more part to be able to use this control. We should focus on the movement being every part of the sequence should be the same speed, okay? This will make it easier for us to control the fun yaw afterward. So I often see people going very fast with this turning, you know? You should try focus on controlling, not on turning very fast. Because to me, it looks like when you're turning fast, you almost fall over. Yeah. So watch it one more time. The movement can be as slow as possible and you stay in control. Yes, when we're here. You turn slowly. Every second you can stop. Yeah. No problem. Understand? We make one more round and I want to see it slowly. Also, the small movements, huh? like turning the heel. Übel. So. Tilt slightly, yes. So. Very good, yes. Hmm. Nicht gerade stehen bleiben, Rico.
Mm, okay. Yes. Okay, relax. Line up. I think the next part should be easy. Maybe you remember when you were very small, maybe you play around with your arms like this, you know, you keep turning. And the more you turn the core, the higher your arms will go, okay? I want you to try this out because that's exactly what we will do now, okay? So we'll see as fast as the acceleration is from the core, the higher the arm will go up, of course, because of centrifugal power, you know? arms go higher, higher, higher. How we do that efficiently is when we do the, the acceleration, very small, but fast. Yeah? When we do it very small, but fast, the arm will go very high, very fast, okay? If you do this long, yeah, the arms will stay low. This is understood for correct power transmission into the arms. So the movement of the hands is not because we're moving the arms. It's because how we accelerate the core. Understand? So now we tilt backward, we want fast acceleration. Yeah? The arms are relaxed, like uh, playing around. Yeah? And we step. Understand? The, 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 the rest come from here. Fast acceleration. Understand? So try to take control with your core not with your shoulder. That's why shoulder will be relaxed and stay relaxed during this movement. Yeah? So the movement with the feet is the same. Like with the Mabu, feet strong, okay? Arms floating like cloud. Everything from here is a yin yang, like fire. And here breathing, relax. Yeah? Fan Yao, same. Posture, strong, relax, upper body, relax, okay? We try, we play. So, play it, so. Don't lose control of the foundation. Bufa, position control. Don't let go of the position. Ohne Kraft, ohne, äh, am besten würde ich sagen, ohne Hirn. Einfach durchschwingen. Don't try to sink too much. Please line up again. This is a natural movement, so we shouldn't think too much about it. We try again. So. Yes, so. The core turn faster, then hands more powerful. Okay, uh, I think it's so-so, you know. You need, to, uh, you need to know the feeling of uh, transmitting uh, acceleration power 
from the gravity center. The gravity center is your core, okay? So it's also the smallest movement possible. So from the smallest movement comes the greatest power. The outer parts must relax. Then you have less resistance and you try accelerating. The more you relax, the easier it will be to accelerate. The feet stay strong, they don't move, they're just turning. You stay rooted to the earth. There is this, uh, this problem. When new students start with Wutang training, they need to learn Ma Bu. They stay Ma Bu, maybe, I don't know, two hours, okay? And if the position is no strong, this happens. They like going like this, you know, because they cannot hold the Ma Bu. Huh? The Ma Bu stay compact. Huh? You don't go wider, 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 okay? You stay here. You stay 45 with your toes and the knees same line. And this is why, if this is correct, yeah, if this alignment is correct, you can root to the ground. You don't go wider. You don't need so much power, you know? It's hard to explain. You only hold it, only uh, use the tension in the correct angle, and then you hold it. If power no good, if here not open, maybe a marble looks like this, yeah? And then it will be harder to hold. You will always go back and try the marble to be more compact. Yeah? So easier to go in spiral motion, like see here, spiral coming here, open, yeah? open, then your root to the ground, then your marble don't shake. When we do the fanya, your root to the ground in spiral motion. Oh, there's no shake, okay? No shake, no falling. If you don't do this, you just go like this. You need to adapt, yeah? You cannot fully control. Easier, go spiral motion, stay. And it's no shake, yeah? No shake inside. No spiral motion, you always shift left, right, left, right. Yeah? This shifting, we don't want. So with spiral motion, we take control of the gravity center. When the gravity center stay quiet, the axis which we aligned before don't shift around. No left, right. Just turn. Okay, understand? We try one more time. Uppay. So. So. Use the spiral motion and adapt with your gravity center. And accelerate and relax upper body. These are integral uh, principles of internal arts. Yes, okay. Please line up. Okay. I want to see one more time, okay? Bye. So. Bye, so. Okay, line up. So, when you are a new student, you probably don't need to know all this stuff, okay? You just try this natural movement. Stay rooted, turn the core, and relax the arms. Then it will be Fan Yao. If you already know Fan Yao, with this knowledge, you know how to improve. Because it's the integral part of uh, Wu Tang internal arts. It's always the same principle, you know, the same like Tai Chi. So this is also why we cannot really separate Tai Chi from your Kung Fu practice. Uh, all, 
all knowledge of the Qigong, Tai Chi, Kung Fu is important. It is why Wu Tang Kung Fu is one whole thing. It's not just martial art, it's not just Kung Fu. We have also the Tai Chi and Qigong and all this stuff. This, uh, how to say this in English, so supports each other, you know, like, yes. Complementary. What? Complementary. Complementary, yes. This is number one, okay? If you, if you, if you don't know Tai Chi, the, the understanding of uh, Kung Fu is uh, very hard because uh, Tai Chi will tell you this principle how to do it because it's control of yin yang. When you know the control, you know how to improve your Kung Fu. Uh, so between uh, doing it and uh, understanding and then try improving are uh, several different things. You know? When you're a new student, you try to play. It's very important that you try to play with the movement because then you will find out how to do this. Children already found out that when I'm turning, the arms will go higher, you know? And they find out, oh, okay, when I go faster, the arms will go higher too, you know? This is how you should play with the Kung Fu practice. When you, when you have a difficult movement, you don't wait for Shufu, uh, say, oh, okay, I need to wait for this movement, you know? Uh, you should try play around. And when you have no success, then maybe try find how to improve, how, how, um, how to improve with this movement, you know? But I think it will not be hard because most of the time it's a very natural movement. And when you try to play with the movement, you will always improve, you know? This is very important. And when you start learning the Tai Chi, you will go back to the practice and you will know all these things on your own. You don't really need someone to, to show you, you know? So uh, some parts are important. The other parts will come to you eventually, you know? But uh, what I want to tell everybody here is that you really won't have surprises. You will always have uh, the principles you learn in your basic training. This means the basic training for Kung Fu, Tai Chi and Qigong. All this Qi Ben Gong for these uh, things you will uh, find very useful for you to play around with because these are your tools. With these tools you will always usually find the answer if you practice long enough. Okay? And if I see, oh, you're doing very wrong, I will come and punish you, you know? But uh, I think you, you have the idea how traditional training should be and how you can improve very fast on your own. The movement is always uh, more uh, when you identify yourself with the movement because you found out by yourself you know how to do it. You don't need complicated explanation. You know? I think this explanation very complicated. Maybe it's very good for online students, you know. Maybe it's very good for someone who really likes to think, you know. But this, this is not a natural way. The natural way is you, you, you play around with the movement, okay. So, please drink something and then we start with the Kung Fu training.